Hey guys, today I'm sharing with you some tips for keeping bugs out of your hamster food. Now, some of you may not even have realised that this was a thing. For some of you, it may not even be a thing, especially if you live in a colder climate. But if you live in a warmer climate or you have warmer summers, chances are at some point you have noticed little bitty bugs in your hamster food. And if you haven't yet, there's a possibility that you could in the future. The reason for this is because your hamster food is, of course, filled with lots of different kinds of seeds, which make fantastic breeding grounds for insects. They'll often lay their eggs in there, which are perfectly harmless to your hamster. But if the weather starts to get warmer and the temperature is just right, those eggs can sometimes hatch. And this can lead to you finding just one or two insects in the food, which isn't a problem. Or worst case scenario can lead to there being an infestation. I'm not sure why I put so much emphasis on each syllable. Don't start worrying though because there is a very easy way to prevent this from happening. First of all, take your bag of hamster food and place it inside your freezer. You can do this as soon as you bring it home if you want to. Leave it in there for three days and the extreme cold will kill off any insect eggs inside the bag, making sure that nothing ever hatches. After those three days, transfer the food from the bag into an airtight container. This can be absolutely any container, whether it's glass or plastic or tin or whatever, as long as it's airtight so that no other insects can get in and relay eggs inside them. Following just those two simple steps should completely eliminate the risk for bugs turning up in your food. But if it does end up happening and you find just a couple of bugs in the food, then you can just repeat this again. Just pop it into the freezer, it'll kill off those bugs, you don't need to worry about it. However, if you find an infestation in there, unfortunately, you are going to have to throw the food away and buy something new and just, well, hope it doesn't happen again. I really hope I haven't over-concerned anyone with this video. I have had a few questions about bugs in food and it is something I've experienced myself. So hopefully these tips will help those of you out who are worried or who have had problems in the past. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!